recording for Vivid Vision. We're here live in Brooklyn with the lovely songwriter and recording artist Blair Melrose. How's everything, Blair? Good. Okay, so you ready for our interview? Yeah. Okay, so as always, we use the fan base to control like the direction of the interview. So I have a few questions from the people that were forwarded to me via my Instagram. So the first one is, tell the world a little bit about yourself. What makes you you? What makes you Blair Melrose? What makes Blair Melrose? Um, people I surround myself with, um, you know, I write my music for men and women, so I, I relate to each sex. <laughs> um, and just life itself. I just like living. So it kind of seems like you are your music. Pretty much. So when your that. fan base listens to your music, they'll just know who you are as a person, real personal. Yeah. That's awesome. A lot of people have their, their own character set Like Lady Gaga is Lady Gaga, and then behind the scenes, she's like her own person. But with sure you're pretty much like putting everything out there on the table via your music. I mean, that's what it's about, so. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Like, fans have like a personal relationship with you. They kind of feel yeah. like they know you by listening to your music. That's really cool. So, that kind of leads us to the next question that was where did you like. When did you find like the passion for your music? When did you discover that you really wanted to become like a songwriter, a recording artist, like a musician? I was about eight or nine years old, and we were all at my sister's house. My whole family had a nice party, and I had on a pink tutu, and this jazz song was playing, and my grandmother just kept telling me to dance, dance, mm -hmm. dance. And as I kept dancing, I kept singing, and my aunts were just like hyping me up. So from there, it was just like, I was tuned into music and I loved it. Mm -hmm. That's what she wrote from there on, okay. Um, what drives you to make your music? Because I, I see that you have like a lot of soul and emotion behind your music. It's real touching. So what like what drives you? Anything in particular? Or it's a mass amount of things? There's a lot in particular and some some not in particular. I say my family drives me every day. Um, friends, you know, personal situations. There's a lot. It's not... It's I don't have one particular thing that drives me because the world is full of crazy things and people, so. And so your, your music is kind of like your outlet of life. So whatever you're going through, you just put out there on the track and instead of going At crazy. At that moment, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it keeps you on the jail, I guess. So check it out. I, on, on my Instagram, I follow you and um, Facebook and I'm not sure if you really deal with Twitter, but. Yeah, I just made one. So. Yeah, you have like a large following for just your music in general. So I think that your music almost encompasses like who you are. So like everybody follows like your music page. So I noticed that you have the slogan like P I M P. So I know it's not the word pimp. It's like almost like an acronym like P dot I dot M. Yeah. So can you break that down to what that means? Cause like it's kind of nervous. Well, for those who don't know what that means, P I M P is paper is my passion. Mm -hmm. um, like we said before, what drives me, money drives me as well. So I'm really doing the music for my own, you know, pleasures and all things like that. But I really want to make money off of what I do. And that's just writing and singing and everything else that comes with it. That's awesome. So you have the emotional connection to the music. There's also like the street level, trying to get your money up and all of that. That's, that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, so someone also asked about, since you live out here in Brooklyn, New York City, what was your input about like the whole Hurricane Sandy situation and how did that affect you or any family that you have living out here in New York City? It didn't really affect me, but those families that it did, um, you know, my condolences are out to you. Personally, me, I was home watching TV from the grace of God. Thank you, I had everything on. Um, but yeah, I was just chilling. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Okay, so we always looking so cheery and with Christmas coming up, um, are you like in the Christmas spirit? What do you have planned for Christmas? Any like do good things that you got planned? Charities, X, Y, Z? I'm in the Christmas spirit, uh, charity wise. You know, I give a little couple of kids they toys and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, overall, just be with my family and friends. And that's about it. Nothing too major. That's awesome. Okay, so can, can you tell the people at home like where to find you at via Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, whatever? Yeah, you guys can follow me on Twitter at Blair Melrose. Um, same thing as Instagram, Blair Melrose. And my Facebook, if you want to get more personal with me, Blair Turk. That's my real name. Da, 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 da. But other than that, it is what it is. You can know my personal side. It's me. It is Blair Melrose. Or any angle. 
yeah. music, the My Twitter, the name. Facebook. Is, <laughs> this, is, this is her. What we we'll getting right here, this is her. Okay, so Blair, I really want to thank you for the interview on behalf of Vivid Vision and myself. And um, it was a pleasure. And I was just kind of wondering, like, could you take us out with a little something for the people? Give them a little taste of, you know, the album, and the mixtape, whatever you got coming out first. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we can get to that. Um, yeah, let's do it. If I gave you my heart, would you give me your soul? Would you turn it into things like diamonds and gold? I leave it all for you to cherish and hold. Keep it from crying, now you're seeing the ghost. Think about the things that you value the most. Did you do it all for me, or was it for show? All these butterflies will look in your eyes So is it just the lies that I realize There's no taking you back Baby, that's a fact All the things you did I wasn't used to Like having my back You never did that I was your girl, what do you do what you do? Staying out all night While I'm home alone It's three in the morning, baby, pick up your phone I'm so sick and tired Time again, I'm trying I keep saying I love you <laughs> All right, so there you got it. You got Blair Melrose, got an interview. You hear her in person. She's awesome. So check her out. You know, at her Twitter, on her Instagram, on her Facebook. We here, man. And so, in behalf of Vivid Vision and myself, I want to thank you for tuning in. Thank you again, Blair, for granting us an interview. I just want to shake your hand. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so we'll see you soon. Check out.